Hey guys, welcome to the uh, tutorial for Salat 10. Uh, this is version 3.0. So uh, first thing we're gonna do is once we launch the app, I have this set up so it doesn't have some of the permissions set up. So you're gonna notice uh, anytime you get these error messages, you wanna make sure that you have your location services um, uh, permission set up here. Uh, otherwise it's gonna, you know, the app might not work properly. I also have some other permissions disabled. So, you know, as soon as uh, uh, you also notice that this app is gonna complain about these other permissions here, like, you know, the location, calendar, and shared files. Since these things are off, you wanna make sure that all these permissions are on. Otherwise the app might not be able to work properly. Uh, so once I have them set on, I'll go ahead and reopen the app. And you're gonna notice that, you know, this is the main screen that you get to. Uh, from here on, the app is not going to, you know, uh, the app, it, usually it should be able to detect your coordinates just fine, but since it wasn't able to, I'm going to go ahead and go to the, uh, I can either tap here, and that's going to take me right to the location, or I could have just opened it up right from here. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to go here, I'll choose my location, usually you don't have to do that because the app will automatically uh, just bring it up. Uh, you'll notice that once I go to the timings now, this is it right here. The app now automatically was able to determine my, my location. Uh, sorry, using my location, it was able to automatically calculate all my, you know, my, uh, my proper timings. And as you can see, the current, uh, you know, event right now that we're in is, is a time for Maghrib. Uh, Isha is coming in in 36 seconds. Uh, basically, anytime there's, uh, you know, five minutes or less or, or something, it starts counting down. Uh, immediately and you'll, you'll notice, uh, you know, sorry, if it's under 30 minutes, you'll notice it counting down. Um, and you know, once it gets to five minutes, it'll, it'll count down uh, with a m much more verbosity like this. Uh, you'll notice though, the app is actually itself um, headless. So the thing is, I don't need to, unlike previous versions, I don't need to keep it on anymore. I can have this simply add the app have the app closed. Uh, I can scroll away from it, do whatever I want. And when it's time for the then, you'll actually notice that the app will uh, automatically uh, notify me when it's time to see. So as you can see here in the background, the app is uh, is playing the Um And also you'll notice that Right here, the you know the little notification is on. Uh, in order to you know turn off the uh, turn off the notification, sorry, the then all you have to do is there's the in between your volume up and down key, there is the play pause button, which is like uh, it's just it's the middle button in between the volume up and down key on the right side of your phone here. Um, and you all simply want to just press the that middle button there, and that'll just cancel off the uh, the then. And you know you, you can you can do that anytime anytime that happens. Um, without, without issues. Uh, so anyways, let's get back right into the interface here. Basically, you'll notice that yeah, I can scroll up to see earlier times. I can scroll down and I can see, uh, you know, upcoming times, you know, for, for days uh, that are coming up. Uh, I can hit the refresh button and that'll just take me back to what is the current event. And as you can see now, the current event is Isha. Uh, if I expand the title bar, you'll also notice that I get my, um, my Hijri calendar here. Uh, if, you know, if uh, a lot of people were asking about that, you can also, if you notice that this is day off by one or two days or, you know, either forward by a day or back by a day, you can press and hold on it and you can actually just go to edit. Um, when you tap on edit, you're going to get this, uh, this slider here and you'll be able to either adjust the day, you know, let's just say, uh, it's, it's, you know, one day ahead and you want to bring it back one day. Uh, let's say it will be added one day before it's calculated time. Uh, and I simply let that go and you'll see that it updates automatically. So um, that's the Hedgery calendar. Uh, what else we have is we have the share button that's going to simply get you to share all the information for today, the today's timings, uh, to wherever you want. You can also hit, um, you know, uh, you can also select, for example, this, this and that. Um, you'll be able to copy and you can copy them right to your clipboard. You can even uh, go about and uh, start selecting between multiple days, not just you know on the same day. You can have three different days, and you can go share. And in that share, you, it'll be able to properly format it to all three different times, as you can see. Um, so that's the, the sharing there. Um, you can also export to calendar. Uh, and what that does is it's uh, it's another convenient way for you to be able to ex export uh, some of your stuff into um, into right into your device calendar and sync up with your device calendar. And this way, it'll actually get you um, for, uh, it's like you know it'll get you on uh, it'll remind you before the time for Fudger or Asr, whichever one you want before you know whatever however much uh, t longer you know however before the time or after the time or during the time that you want, 
while the app is closed. You know, like if this is an extension, if you want, if you don't want to hear the event, you have the event turned off, you just want notifications, the calendar notifications. This is going to work even with the app closed. It syncs right to your calendar itself. So to do that, uh, you'll also notice that if you scroll down on here, there's also a Friday do a reminder. And that's just, you know, before uh, there's, you know, there's a hadith about uh, b between Asr and Maghrib is the time where you can make du'a and the du'a is accepted on Fridays. Um, so you can, if you enable that, that it'll also give you a reminder for that. Um, so let's just say uh, we wanted to um, only get a you know a reminder, let's just say for Fajr only, and not any of the other ones. Actually, we'll say Fajr and Maghrib. We'll say we want a reminder for these two. Um, so let's just say I want to be notified for Fajr um, 30 minutes after its time. For Maghrib, I want to be notified, let's just say... Um, 15 minutes or 18, okay, 18 minutes before it's time. Uh, and for in terms of the dua, I want to be able to be notified, um, let's just say 20 minutes before Maghrib, uh, let's just say 25 minutes before Maghrib, uh, on Friday specifically, uh, for it to notify, notify me. Uh, you have this slider here, uh, as how many days you want to export. Um, and you know, you can, uh, you can select however, you know, we'll, we'll say for us, we'll, we'll go with, uh, uh, let's just say. 12 days. Um, other than that, we can also, you know, if you have more than one calendar synced up to your device, you can actually select the specific calendar that you want here. Um, you know, it's not, uh, for me, I just have one calendar synced up, but some people might, might have more than one, and you can choose that one. Uh, once you have that, you simply hit the export button here, and you'll notice that the app itself starts exporting all your calendar information. Once the export is complete, you can actually open up the calendar. When you open up the calendar, you're going to notice that all of them have been properly, uh, you know, synced up. Um, so, you know, you have your Maghrib, and if you scroll up, you'll see your Fajr times. Um, you'll also notice that on Fridays, so let's go here, see the hour of response. So, you know, this is going to be for that, uh, the Fajr, the, the, the Dua for on, on Friday, uh, that's going to show up here. Uh, and that's the kind of notification that you'll see. Now, what if you want to get rid of the notifications? All you do is you simply want to go to more clear exported events and just hit yes. And that'll just go through and it'll just clear up all of the, the scheduled events. And you'll notice that they are no longer in your calendar after that. Um, here, I just need, just need a small refresh. Uh, sometimes it takes a little bit of time for the info to sync up. Um, yeah, see, it doesn't exist. So it's still just syncing up, but it should it should be gone. In a, you know, after the after a good refresh, it'll it'll be gone. Uh, I think that just the database is still syncing up. Uh, anyway, so after that, that's pretty much it on this screen. Uh, from there, you'll notice some of the other stuff. And now the thing is, the Kibla is not going to work on the simulator here because uh, I don't have a a device. Uh, I don't have the gyroscope and everything set up here. But this is basically something that'll show you you know which way the Kibla is. Play around with this for a while. Uh, don't, you know, make sure you, you don't just take the first value it gives you. Uh, you, you know, it takes a little bit of time for the app to adjust to, uh, you know, the, the metal and, and everything and, and the location that you're in. Uh, you need to be moving quite, uh, quite a bit and then you'll, you'll eventually get, uh, you know, it should eventually give you the right value. Uh, don't take the immediate value that it, uh, that, that it tells you. Uh, it needs to adjust itself. It, you know, it's like a trial and error, and then it goes through and finds the right one. Uh, once it is the right one, you'll notice that the the value here is going to light up in green, and the device is going to vibrate. That's how you know it's the is the right one. Um, but obviously, don't just rely on this. Use your use your judgment and uh, uh, you know use the sun and everything to to find out which way uh, you know the kibla is. Don't 100% rely on this because you know once again this is a mathematical calculation. It might not always be right. So you don't want to just rely on that. Uh, other than that, what else we have is uh, we have the articles page. So in the articles, you know, you have you can get some of the fatawa and certain some uh, you know voluntary prayers. Uh, also, just you know, common mistakes and things like that, and just what you know some of the students and students and knowledge and scholars have said about certain uh, you know on, on issues related to to some of the salah, uh, and also you know voluntary prayers and things like that. You know, you'll get all of that information there. Um, what else you can get is uh, prostration or formula. So as you just saw, you'll get all that information here. Um, you can also go into, um, sorry. Uh, 
Yep, sorry. Um, here, if you go into the more, you'll get um, you know your extra articles here that you can click on, and you know that's um, more information from the Mishnah on on that. So you you know you'll get uh, that information if you hit useful chart that brings it back. Um, after that, you have your location. So this is very interesting here. What what you have here is you'll get uh, you know some of the timings for uh, where you are, but also what other people who who are also using the app that where they've checked in, and you'll be able to get um, their you know timings and everything that the, wherever they are. Um, so you know you'll see Montreal. Uh, it's time for Maghrib there, or, or you know, and then wherever you are, you'll get that there. And then there's another somebody else signed in Kuala Lumpur and the, over there is the whole, uh, so you'll get like a real time live feed of, you know, people around the world. This is something a little fun uh, that you get where, you know, everybody who's using the app will be able to, you can kind of see, you know, how, what, what time is it in other places of the world and what cellar weather they're praying right now and things like that. So it just made to make the app a little bit more social. If you ever want to change the location, you can always do it here and uh, that'll update the app for you. We can hit refresh. That'll just get your GPS location and force an update. Uh, for the newer Muslims who still don't know how to play, uh, pray properly and uh, need to know, you know, just a quick reminder, here's the tutorial. It gives you step-by-step -step information uh, on the five prayers uh, and also, you know, it'll it'll have like additional audio uh, that, that lets you, like, yeah, so, so you'll have your audio and everything that you get, um, some visual, uh, you know, visual step-by-step -step directions you also get there. And uh, that's pretty much it. Like, there's not really much more to the app other than that. Uh, you get your notifications, you know, for the uh, for the last third of the night and things like that. They get, you know, you'll get those notifications. Uh, they're not at then. They're just notifications. Oh, and, uh, you know, another thing you can also do is uh, if you want to set custom uh, at then, you can do that as well. So you can let's just say I want to set it custom at then for these three ones specifically. Uh, and the other ones I want to use my, you know, the default one. I can go set custom sound and I'll be able to pick whichever, you know, whichever MP3 that I have here that I want to, that I want to use. If I want to just do it just for one of them, I can do it just for one of them. It doesn't matter. I mean, uh, um, uh, and, you know, so you, I can only set it then for uh, obviously the, the actual prayers. I can't set it then for sunrise or, you know, last third of the night and these reminders. You can't really do that. Um, but that's really it. You know, all you have to do is, uh, you know, you do that. Now, Another interesting thing is if you want to edit any of these things. So if let's just say Dohod is off by a few minutes and you want to you want to edit that, you can go edit and you can say, okay, Dohod is actually supposed to be 10 minutes after. I have the wrong time here. And that'll actually see adjust Dohod for you to 1244. Um, you can do the same thing for any of the other prayers. That, you know, it doesn't matter whichever one you want it to do. Um, also, if you have set your custom sounds for, for, for these ones, Let's just say these were the three that I, I did set custom sounds for. I can I just hit reset sound. That'll just reset the sounds for, for and it just use, use it back to the default ones. If you want to mute any of the adhan, uh so, you know, if you're a person who doesn't like to hear the adhan on the, and the app always, you know, ruining uh, your, like, while in a business meeting or something like that, uh, what you can do is, one option you have is, you know, if you don't want to hear the adhan at all, you can, you know, you select the, basically all of the, all of the ones, doesn't matter. Uh, even if I, this is also if you don't want to hear alarms or anything as well, or and also you know notification, you can simply just go mute, and that'll just completely mute all of them, every single one of them, uh, and you'll never hear an ad or notification again. Um, that's and that's if you want to do that. Yeah, if you want, you can en enable individual ones, whatever it is that you want. Doesn't doesn't matter. Uh, now, what about for in terms of your own, uh, you know. Time, like, you know, de depending on what, what you set the device to, you want to hear the other or you don't. Uh, before that, so, you know, if you start down from the top bezel, you get your settings here. And basically the settings, uh, you have a bunch of options here. You can, you know, if you are in a specific part of the world and your timings are not showing up properly, you might need to change the calculation angles uh, to suit your specific area. Uh, so, you know, read up on the description here in between, uh, like, you know, where you are and choose the appropriate one. Um, uh, if you want the, to switch the Asr uh, prayer ratio uh, to use the Hanafi uh, school of thought, then you can cho choose Hanafi uh, here. Uh, and this is what we were talking about here. So if, uh, you know, you want the you want the Adhan to play no matter what you have the device set on, like the profile set on, uh, you can choose Ignore Profile, and it's always going to play. Now, if you want it to only play it when it's in vibrate mode, 
uh, sorry, if it's in vibrate or silent mode, you don't want to play. Uh, you don't want to play the yadan. So you only want to play it when it's in the normal mode. Then you choose that one. And basically, what that's saying is, when you put the device here in, uh, sorry, in your notifications here, if you set it to vibrate only, it's not going to play. Now, if you put it in silent, then it will play at the, in, in that option. And here, it's saying. Uh, sorry, if you if you put it in silent or vibrate, it's not going to play. It. And here, if you put it in respect silence, that means it will play it when it is in vibrate mode. So that will play if the device is not in silent profile. Uh, and that's that one. The on Friday, that just means you know you don't want to interrupt the uh, the Friday prayer uh, for the khutbah with the with the then um, you want to check that. Now, obviously, for for the sisters, they might not want to do that. Um, it, you know, they, they might be staying home and praying. So the thing is, they might want to hear the adhan. So it's really up to you, you know, whichever one you want. Um, that's that. Uh, you also get, you know, we encourage you to review the app. If you like the app, please do review the app. Um, you know, if you want to support the app and the development, please do hit donate and, uh, you know, send us whatever you can afford, whatever you want to, you, you want to, uh, uh, support for development. You can always hit donate. Salatin will always be free. So, you know, there's no, there's not going to be a charge for it. It's just completely voluntary if you do want to donate and help support development. Uh, bug reports. If you notice anything, uh, weird with the app going on or, or you have some feature requests or anything, do send it over to us right here. File a bug. Uh, file a bug report. You can hit open in browser to uh, you know sign into your Gmail and do it. Um, also in the help, uh, you know you get uh, you'll be able to uh, you know go go through the help and for for the app. Um, you should get that information right here. That's you know that, that's not a problem. And that's pretty much it. Uh, there's not really much more to the app other than that. Um, you know, you, if you do hit us up on our BBM channel, if you're having any problems, uh, get, you know go on our BBM channel. And, uh, you know, one of the developers will walk you right through the app to have any, if you have any issues, you'll be able to chat with us live and, you know, we'll be able to help you out. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it. If you have any other questions, do send us an email at supportedcanadainc.org. Go to our BBM channel on anything you want. And uh, we hope you enjoyed the app. If you have any questions, do send us a message. Thank you very much for watching and we hope you enjoyed the app.